Are you ready? The original heists that were triggered after purchasing a high-end apartment have been in GTA Online since 2015 and were arguably the most important ever update based on where the game headed since then. The grand finale of these five heists was robbing a Pacific Standard Bank, where back then the most you could take was 1.25 million. In 2022, this was increased to 1,875,000. So in this video, I'll be showing you the best way for you and your teammates to deliver the full take without taking a single hit and walking away with the maximum take possible. So without further ado, let's get to it. This should be uh, pretty easy. Yeah, I've kept it simple since you all seem uh, pretty simple. Before we get into it, there is a way to bypass all of the setups for every four person apartment heist in a matter of seconds, sending you straight to the finale. So if you'd like to see how that's done, I'll leave a link in the description below. Before you start, everyone in your team should have bought their heavy utility vest and saved it as an outfit. Welcome to Suburban. The heavy utility vest is found in all clothing stores under utility vest and the bottom of the menu. You can get either the black or the gray version. The reason you want this is because it gives you approximately twice as much body armor while in these heists. The sizes run small if you want to avoid getting depressed. Now when you start up the finale, make sure it is set to hard mode so you get the maximum payout, and that the heist clothing is set to player saved outfits. There are three main roles for this heist, demolition, hacker, and two players for the crowd control. You'll now decide on one player out of demolition and hacker who will take all of the money inside the bank. That one person should not wear the heavy utility vest, but everyone else should. If you shoot enough hostages, you'll get this small cutscene. This means that noose will be called. I'll explain why this is a vital step later in the video. While the hack is being completed, feel free to show off your art skills on the bank walls. And when the last door is open, have your one player go in and collect both trays of money.
As soon as the cutscene ends, the player with all the money heads left and hides behind this wall. Everyone else can go outside and start blasting away the cops and the noose. Once the coast is clear, the money carrier pops out of the bank to trigger the next checkpoint, then goes back inside and hides. It's now up to the rest of the team to make their way as normal towards the getaway bikes. The extra protection from the heavy utility vest means this should be done with ease. Once here, blow up all of the bikes until you get the message that says head to the canyon. Now blow yourself up. Restarting the heist after this teleports everyone to where the bikes were, including the money carrier who stayed inside the bank. So you'll now respawn in, still with the full take. Use the bikes to get away from the cops and to get upstate. Now everyone gets on a bike to trigger the next part of the heist. Man, there's a route coming to your GPS now. The money carrier hides here with two teammates for protection, while one player takes this route to pick up the awaiting noose fan. The noose fan will only spawn here if you shot the hostages and triggered the alarm earlier in the heist. Now they head back to the bikes area to pick up the rest of the team. The money man should only ever sit in the back seat and neither of the back seat passengers should shoot as this will open up the back doors and leave you vulnerable to being hit. The of pack standard is calling the mayor. He's probably patched in the chair of the repository. Instead, have the front seat passenger do all of the shooting to any following police cars. The windows in the noose van are somewhat bulletproof, but if they have taken too much damage, they will break and you may get hit. So, uh, have any die packs gone off the bags? Now take this route to the dinghy.
person with all of the money should hop into the right side of the dinghy and press the button which causes them to duck. On PlayStation, this is the X button. Now just keep the dinghy on the right side of the approaching boats and hit the checkpoint. The drugs. Oh man, the drugs. I'm a I am a heavily medicated man. I uh I'm not well at all. I uh I'm a little embarrassed. Um, okay, the money. We left the bank with 1,875,000 and delivered the full 1,875,000. And that's how you complete the Pacific Standard job finale, keeping all of the money. There is a way to get a helicopter in this heist, but it involves a lot of faffing around and will ultimately take you longer to complete. So this way is the best. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one.